hello and welcome back to week number two of our Veguary Wellness Series. I'm so glad that you came back. I hope that you're doing well this week, especially with your journey of veganism or continuing on with celebration of our Veguary Wellness event. Uh, I'm so excited that you're back and let's focus today on legs. Now leg strength is something that is very, very important within our yoga practice. It does help us to keep us stable and steady on the mat. So this is just as important, even uh, with the wrist and the arms, just as important. So let's continue to get into this series and let's do our week number two of our practice. For today's practice, we are going to use our blocks. We are going to leverage our blocks just a little bit more than we would um, in our practice last week. So feel free to get those blocks handy and let's get started. We're going to first start by just grounding ourselves like we do every single practice. It's really good to just get yourself ready for your practice. So come to a nice comfortable seat. Allow your body to relax, prop yourself up if you need to. Maybe bring that gaze down into your mat or close your eyes. We're going to do that Ujjayi breathing. As we inhale in, just breathe in. Take a nice deep breath in. And on that exhale, let it all out. Let the shoulders come down. Let your body relax. Get yourself grounded here. Check in. How do you feel in this very moment? Maybe you're feeling a little stiff. Maybe you're feeling sore, that's okay. However you're feeling, I want you to come as you are to this practice. So as we begin to just settle in, noticing any sensations on the body, we're listening and being mindful of our breath with no reason to change it. Just checking in with how you're feeling in this very moment. It's those times when we don't want to practice or we don't feel like we're ready for our practice is when we really need to tap in to our practice. So we're going to keep that in mind as we go throughout our practice today. We're going to begin by just taking our head, slowly bringing the gaze up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders. Taking the head, bringing it down towards our chin. And on that inhale, taking the chin back up to neutral. On that inhale, we're going to take our arms, take them up overhead. And on that exhale, bring the hands down in front of you. We're going to lean up into that tabletop position. So in our tabletop position, we bring our knees to stack right underneath of our hips. Our knees are going to be hip distance apart, stacking your wrists right under your shoulders. We're going to begin to move our body around in circle, just opening our bodies up, getting our bodies ready for our practice, pressing into our fingertips, light on our wrists. And we're going to pause here, taking our our rotation in the opposite direction. So this is good not only for our wrists, but our hips, our knees, our thighs, our lower back, getting everything nice and ready to go for our practice. And go ahead and pause at the top, give yourself a moment. We're gonna stretch out those legs. So we're gonna bring the right leg behind us, taking the heel down towards the ground and square your hip off. Normally, you're going to want to arch it off to the side, but squaring that hip down towards the mat, bringing your heel down, press away with your fingertips, lift up through the chest, take the gaze down right in front of your mat, and take it in, give it a rock from left to right. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side, taking our left heel, bring it down. Again, squaring the hip back down towards the mat, pressing into the heel, lifting up through the chest, taking the gaze 
right down in front of your mat. And taking the knee back in, giving your body a rock from left to right. So we're gonna begin to just invite a little bit of that strength into the legs, nice and early. So taking our hands back to our tabletop position, we're gonna tuck our toes underneath. So tucking your toes, we're just gonna gently lift the knees off the ground. Let the knees hover for five, four, three, two, one, take it down, shift the weight back towards the heels. I'm gonna come forward again, and we're gonna do that one more time. So again, lift the knees, hover it off the ground for five, four, three, two, one, place it down, shift the weight back into the heels. So this toe stretch is actually good, especially if you wear shoes all day for really wiggling out those toes and getting those toes nice and open. Coming back to our tabletop position, untucking our toes, we're gonna bring our feet forward. So we're gonna start with the right foot and we're gonna bring it through to a lunge position. So take that foot, and bring it through in between your hands. So it's okay if you need to just bring it around, bring it forward, that is okay. So begin to just square yourself off, hands are gonna frame the foot. And on that inhale, begin to bring your hands up onto your knees until you're comfortable here within that position. We're bringing our hips forward, feeling that stretch along the knees. On that inhale, take your arms, bring them up overhead. Now, as you begin to lift up, lifting through the chest, you're gonna feel your quads start to stretch out. Taking that gaze forward. On that exhale, take your hands to heart center. Feeling that energy in between your fingers. On that inhale, bring the arms back up overhead. And again, press into the fingers. This time, we're gonna bring that left elbow to the outside of our right knee. Take the gaze up towards the ceiling. Now these twists are really good for just internally detoxing the body, getting everything moving. We're not only detoxing with our food, we're detoxing with our movement. On that inhale, taking your arms back to center. And exhale, take the hands back down. We're gonna frame the foot and step our foot back to that tabletop position. Give our body a little rock from left to right. So we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, taking that left foot and we're gonna bring it through to frame the hand. Again, if the foot doesn't come all the way there, feel free to grab it and bring it up. Settle yourself here. And when you're ready, go ahead and come up onto your knee. Shift the weight forward, turning that gaze right in front of you. We call that a dristy point. Inhale, take the arms, bring them up overhead. Lifting up through the chest, feeling that stretch along your right quad. And on that exhale, taking your hands to heart center, press into the fingers. And bring the arms back up overhead. Taking the hands back to heart center. You're ready for your twist. Taking that right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. Now you'll see and notice that one side may be a little different than the other. That's okay. We accept our bodies where we are. Continue to breathe. And on that inhale, take yourself back to center. Bring the arms back up overhead. On that exhale, take the hands down. We're gonna take that foot, bring it back, give your body a rock from left to right. So I want you to open up your hips and your legs. So we're gonna take our knees, take them out as wide as our mat, allowing our big toes to touch, push back towards our heels for our child's pose here. Take your forehead down onto the mat as we lower our forearms down. Just give your hips that opportunity to just take a moment here. And 
going to bring the gaze towards our hands, lift ourselves up, taking our knees back in, tucking our toes, pushing back to our first downward facing dog of our practice. So feel free to paddle out your feet here. This is our first one. Moving opposite knees. And when you're ready, go ahead and shift the weight into the heels as we push back. Tucking our chin into our chest, taking the gaze up the thigh. Really sinking into our downward facing dog. And we're going to begin to open up our hips. So we're going to take that right leg, take it up towards the sky, bend it open for a three-legged dog here. And then bring it through the front of the hand. So just like we did within our lunge, we're going to bring the hand, the foot through to bring your hands. We're going to pivot our back foot here, pivot it 45 degrees, come up to our warrior one position. So bend into that front knee. Squaring your hips off towards the front. Take the bend into the knee, just seeing that big toe. And on that exhale, we open up into our warrior two position. Again, maintain the bend into the knee. Nice strong T arms. Take your gaze over your front hand. We're going to drop the back hand, reverse your warrior, lift up through the chest, gaze up towards the ceiling. Remembering to maintain the bend in the front knee. On your exhale, take the front hand down, side angle. Forearm can be down into the thigh. Sweep the arm with overhead. Lift off of the chest. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And on that exhale, we'll windmill our hands down and we'll step back and we'll flow through. Again, if you don't want to flow, push back to your downward facing dog. We'll all meet there. Taking that left leg up towards the sky. We're going to bend that open for a three-legged dog, opening our hip. And then bringing the knee back to center as we bring it through to bring the hand. Come to our warrior one on our left. On that exhale, open up to your warrior two. Lifting up through the chest. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale to side angle, sweep the arm up overhead. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle. Again, reversing your warrior. We'll windmill our hands down. As we frame our foot, we step back and we flow through. Again, take a moment here to breathe. Take the gaze up the thighs. Just take a moment. We're gonna take the gaze towards the top of our mat in between our hands, walk our feet, to meet our hands, place a bend into our knees as we sit in our chair. Your chair pose is where you shift the weight into towards the heels, elongate your spine, and allow that body and those arms to come up. Your gaze are gonna be is forward, you can take your hands together. If there's any pressure on the shoulders, feel free to bring the shoulders out. Give yourself some room. See if you can squat down a little bit deeper. You got this. On that exhale, forward fold. We're gonna take ourselves to a flat back here. You can plant your hands down on the mat or on your shin, whatever's comfortable to you. We're gonna plant those hands down as we step back and we flow through. Again, meeting in that downward facing dog, we all take two breaths together. We're gonna go through that sequence again, lifting the right leg, bringing it through, 
frame your hands, pivot the back foot, open up into your warrior one. Maintain that bend into the knee as we exhale and open up to our warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. We're doing one movement, one breath. Exhale, side angle. Inhale to reverse. Now here's where you can grab your yoga block if you like. On this side angle, you can take your hand down uh, to be in front of your foot. So you can take it here and take your arm overhead. Feel free to start off at the high position. You can always take it down to that medium or even the low position here. Of remembering to open up the chest. Maintain the bend in the knee. On that inhale, reverse your leg. Exhale to side angle. Again, sweeping that arm overhead. Inhale, reverse. Those legs should be warming up by now. Side angle. We're gonna bring the hands down to frame the foot as we move the block over to the side and we step back and flow through. Again, taking two breaths here in our downward facing dog together. We're gonna do that same thing on our opposite side, taking the left leg up overhead, bringing it through, bring the hands, Pivot the back foot, open up, warrior one. Exhale, open out to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle. Again, you can introduce your block in whatever position is comfortable for you. We're gonna do it at medium. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle. Maybe you can get a little bit lower. And inhale, reverse. Exhale, last side angle here. Open up through the chest. We're going to take our hands, frame our foot. Move our block off towards the side as we step back and we flow through. Again, taking two breaths. Let's take our gaze to our hands, walk the feet towards the top of the mat, have a seat in our chair. Elongating our spine, Getting nice and deep here. Come back to your breath. And on that exhale, forward fold. Taking a flat back here. Plant your hands and step back. And we flow through. Meeting in our downward facing dog. Take two breaths. Take your leg, take it up overhead. Bring it through to find the hands. This time we're gonna immediately win the open to our warrior two. Maintain that bend into the front knee. We're gonna inhale, reverse our warrior here. Lift up towards the sky. And exhale to the side angle. Again, you can have your block or take the hand down towards the mat. Whatever's comfortable as we open up our chest. Continue to breathe. Inhale, let's reverse our warrior. Exhale, take the hands. We're gonna bring it down to frame our foot. Bring the back foot towards the front of the mat. In our lunge position here. Just allow your body that opportunity to just get settled here. Now I'd like you to bring your blocks over to the side to frame your foot. So we're gonna take our blocks off and frame our foot here on the side as we lift up through the chest. And if you're comfortable and you're ready to take off, 
We're gonna press into the feet as we slowly lift our arms up overhead into our high lunge. Feel free to be nice and strong here as we keep that bend into the knee. We're on the ball of our back foot. And on that exhale, taking your hands down to frame your foot back onto the block. We can step back into our plank pose and shift back to our downward facing dog. It's okay if you don't have blocks, that is totally fine. This time we're gonna stay with our hands on the blocks if you have them, and we're gonna take our left foot, bring it up towards the sky, and bring it through to frame the hand. Again, pivot that back foot, immediately windmill open to your warrior two. Take that bend into the knee, stretch it out here, inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale to your side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale to your side angle. And we're gonna take our hands down to frame our foot Pivot that back toe, come back into that lunge. Take that lift into the chest. Now our hands are on the blocks in the low position. Feel free to readjust to any position that feels comfortable for you. And if you're feeling nice and stable here and you'd like to come up to a high lunge with me, press into the feet. We're gonna engage our core as we bring our arms up overhead for our high lunge. Again, just take a moment here. You may feel some shaking in your body. That is totally fine. You got this. Begin to breathe. And on that exhale, take the hands back down. I prefer to do this one in the low position as we transition to bring that foot back to our downward facing dog. Bringing the gaze towards the hands. We're gonna bend our knees with a walk, step or jump to the top of our mat. Bringing the feet forward, place a bend into your knees and sit back into your chair. Continue to breathe, sinking our hips a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, bringing yourself to stay. Just take a moment here, take it all in. You got this. Come back to your breath, bring the arms up overhead on the inhale. And on that exhale, hinge forward, sweeping the hands down. Take the hands down towards the ankles. Slight bend into the knee if you need it. Relaxing your back. Now, if you have your blocks out in front, go ahead and bring them off to the side for a second. We're gonna place our hands down into the mat as we step back and we flow through. Bringing ourselves back into our downward facing dog. Let's take a moment. We're gonna to begin to walk our hands towards the back of our mat this time, bending our knees, allowing our body that opportunity to relax. As you slowly bring yourself up to a standing position, curling your body up, your head is gonna come up last. On that inhale, take the arms, bring them up overhead, allowing the hands to touch if that's possible. Lift up through the chest. And on that exhale, take the hands down. We're gonna walk ourselves to the top of our mat, bend our knees, come down onto our mat. We're gonna come right back into that same position in which we started. Just giving ourselves a little bit of love here, feeling our bodies, knowing that we had such a great practice. I want you to just bring that awareness back into your body, maybe allowing your breath to come down we're gonna take our hands to heart center. 
allowing ourselves to just come back to the practice. I want you to thank yourself for showing up for you today. I want you to thank your body for supporting you in today's practice. I thank you and I'm honored to be with you during our practice today. And I cannot wait to see you next week for our practice. I wish you a great week. Enjoy your February week. I will see you next time. Namaste. Thank you.